Yeah, yeah. 20 pounds, probably. Yeah. Um, we're ramping up slowly, but actually the last couple weeks it's been getting busy. So, yeah, no, love you're, it. You're a busy girl. It smells like coffee everywhere around I, here. <laughs> I love Banshee Moon Coffee. I so, like I have this, I have this thing something. here. Oh, it's yeah. great to yeah. suck up uh, yeah. liquid yeah. out of the turkey. So what I did, I, we still haven't really looked at the turkey. No, but we're I not going to. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let it sit in its juices. But I did open this corner and I grabbed some of that liquid up. Look at that. Oh, man. Wow, that's so steamy and juicy in there. Juicy. And I started my gravy with butter and flour. I made a little roux. And then I now I've added the actual turkey drippings. I started it. I started it with. Uh, I made a roux and I added some of this. Uh, what do you call it? Store bought broth just to get the mm. gravy started. But there's most a lot of that. Is. This is like yes, de resistance. De resistance. Yes. You're so French. Can you edit that? <laughs> You're so French for an Italian lady. Yes, the resistance. Not guilty. All right. Little, Are you meowing? Little George Winston. No, Petri. She is Stay exactly speed. like Helen Keller. That's how I feel about Ruby. She's just yeah. the embodiment of Helen Keller. Yeah. Helen Keller. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Helen Keller grew up to be a wonderful woman that wrote beautiful things. <laughs> Amazing. Adversity, right? Yeah. Ruby, what is your adversity? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little smoky in here. I cooked my turkey in uh, in this little rental house down the street. It's a trailer. And that freed up the oven and kept me so I wasn't messing with it opening the opening this oven. I'd never opened the oven once. It's been in there for six, six and a half hours. And uh, I never opened it. Very hot, we're gonna keep it hot. Got it on a little wire rack in the oven. I'll bring this home and hopefully it's perfect. We shall see. The air has fuchsia color to it. Mm. We had a king tide today. Came all the way up to the rocks. All right, I have been burning. This is a painting I did in the 90s burning a lot of these old paintings because I don't want them anymore. This is not a particularly good painting, but it's an interesting feeling to let go of shit like this. It's a very weird time in life, you know, when you, you're dragging shit around, pardon my French dragging stuff around for no reason. Um, I burned a painting of my mom. I hated doing that, but, but it was an old painting. It was painted around probably World War II era. Probably just before the war. And uh, it was ruined. This, this canvas is on a board, so you see what happens to uh, canvas when it's glued to a board there. There we go. But the painting of my mother was destroyed by tar from smoking. 
her parents lived in a small apartment in the end and, and smoked all their lives. And they, in that small apartment for 20 years, the painting was irreparably damaged. You, you could barely see the paint. And I tried to clean it, and it, and it was any, any kind of professional cleaning took the paint off. It was, it was very sad. But this is not so sad. and our little baby girl Destin when she was born. She was new. Ashes to ashes, right? That's a good thing that I'm not superstitious. Crazy cat guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Sunset, sunset, sunset and Jennifer's kissing dogs. <laughs> uh huh? Didn't have what we were looking for, huh? Right. Say goodbye, Key West. Bye, Key West. <laughs> Okay, Michael Jackson. <laughs> little did I know that later, a little later in my life, I'd be sorting through all the artifacts of my life. This was a painting that I did to demonstrate what I could do with old, uh, restoring old photos into oil paintings. <clears throat> so I painted this, but now I have no room for all of these things. <clears throat> and, you know, it's kind of hard to throw away your, your life's work. <clears throat> I may do it one day, I may have to part with it one way or another, right? But for now, I'm taking these old canvases out of their frames and off of their stretchers, and I'm rolling them up. You see, like that one over there. I've just got a ton of them everywhere. There's one I did when I was uh, 15 or 16. This was one of my first paintings. Let's see what this looks like without the whole shebang coming down. That was a, you see the girl back there? Some actress, I don't know, and I painted the Excalibur car. Yeah, I, I taught myself how to paint, and that was one of my first attempts at a will. But off of the frames, they must come. And to storage, Without taking so much space. Get away from that. What? Any excuse to get away from that computer. Come, come see. I was just spraying the deck. Look over there by the ho by the hose reel. Oh wow! 
Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's so cool. What a magnificent creature. I do not know. Just a beautiful moth. And it's got little gorgeous leaf designs on its oh, wing. Yeah. Do you see that? Like a little vine? It's, it looks like a branch with a little leaf growing off of it. It's got a lot of green. Do you think green. it just hatched? Or it came out of its chrysalis? I don't know. <laughs> wheels pivot under there and he lifts it off of the the driving wheel. Now, let's see, ah, nothing fell off the shelves. It's this, very cool. Thanks for watching everyone. They say that you die twice. You die once when you die, and you die finally when the last person who knows you dies. That was my sweet little mother. And this was an oil painting from the 40s of my mother that was destroyed by smoke. My grandparents smoked for 40 years around the painting and it was just badly damaged. And I'm letting it go. We've sold the farm. We're saying goodbye to a lot of stuff.